Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the channel. Today we're having a look at two chat apps and we're going to see which one is the better option in terms of communication, accessibility, as well as special features. We're going to have a look at Google Chat. We're also going to have a look at Slack and uh, we're going to compare their ups and their downs. So let's dive in. So starting out in Google Chat, you can see that it is a very, very simple layout. Here we can create a new chat or we can have a look at some of our shortcuts. So let's create a space and the space is pretty simple. All you have to do is give it a name. You can add an emoji as well to customize it and we can say create. Now going in here to spaces on the left hand side, you can manage all of your spaces. OK, so if we go into photo shoot locations, we can now chat within this space and chat with whomever is invited to this space. So you can have different teams of people in different spaces. You can also add some apps in over here within this space or this chat. And all you need to do is tap on this menu over here and you can see that there are a bunch of apps that you can integrate to make your life a whole lot easier. You can also go back to your home page from here and from this home page, you can manage all of your different spaces. You can also have a look at all of your shared media and all of the tasks within this space. So if you want to not just chat, but you can actually um, create tasks so that they can be assigned to different people, have due dates, and then also you can tick them off when they have actually been completed. So if you go right over here to the top of your chat, you can see your name. And if you use this drop down menu, you have a couple options, one including apps and integrations. So here are additional apps and integrations that you can actually use to make your life easier. So you can just add apps and you can pretty much integrate a bunch of apps that will allow you to manage everything in one place. Let's jump over now to Slack. Now, Slack is something that I have been using for a little while. And to be honest with you, it is quite a great app. I enjoy using it and it's made my life a lot easier. On the left hand side, you've got a menu here. You can create automations, uh, basically automations. The page looks like this and they've got a couple templates, but you can build your own automations. You can build workflows from welcoming messages or um, different types of workflows just to make your work easier. Some of the other things here is the huddle and the huddle feature allows you to chat in real time. So there's no camera. It's just a real time chat. So it basically just opens up on all of the members. And if you're online, you can actually have a live chat. The canvas is also a nice feature. Chat is one thing, but to actually have a canvas where you can really just like do what you want on this open canvas is great. It is, however, only available with the Pro, so that is something that you will need to consider. But having a canvas is a place where you can really become creative and you can really go beyond just chatting. Now, talking about just chatting, it's got all the basic features over here, such as the just plain old texting. You can actually format your text quite nicely over here, and you can also schedule your messages to be sent at a later stage. You can send voice notes. You can record in real time. You can make mentions. You can add emojis and stickers, and then you can also hide all of your formatting options and you can add media right from your device. Now, having a look at Slack and having a look at Google chat, honestly, Slack is just so much better. They have so many more options and it's more than just a chat app. In my opinion, Slack definitely wins this one. If this was a helpful guide, you can go ahead and drop us a like and we'll see you in another awesome video. Peace.